Hi guys, so welcome back here at the C Engineering Tutorials. So this time is we're going to solve uh, problems related to unsymmetrical parabolic table or curve. So this is part three. So sa previous na na uh, natin na discussion. Nakita ko yung uh, computation ng symmetrical parabolic curve or table uh, in conventional way and using calculator uh, technique. Na? So this time is we're going to solve uh, unsymmetrical parabolic or table, parabolic curve or table using conventional. And then in the next video is we're going to solve this one using calculator. Uh, tricks or calculator only. Okay, so so for this video, we're going to compute the parabolic curve uh, supported by uh, supported at point A and point B, 30 meter horizontally apart. So point B is 5 meter higher than point A, and the lowest point is 3 meters below point A. So the uniform load of 50 Newton is distributed horizontally. So ano daw yung tension dito sa support? So, so ito bali yung figure. Okay, so to solve this one, so first is conventional muna tayo. So again, uh, there's a technique in solving for the parabolic keyboard. So you just need to isolate the one support and the lowest point. No? So, so for this one, uh, kailangan muna natin makuha yung value ng x. So we will use the uh, square property of parabola. So by square... property of parabola so since this is open up upward so meron siyang x squared no? diba kasi yung equation niya is x squared equals 4 ay no? so yung sabihin nyo tayo ni uh, x squared over y so we can have x sub 1 squared all over y sub 1 and then we have x sub 2 squared all over y sub 2. So I assume ito yung x sub 1 ito. And then I assume this is my x sub 2. So we have x squared all over. So ito yung magiging y uh, sub 1 natin. Okay. And then y sub 2 will be this one. Okay, so we have 3 meters and then we have 30 minus x squared all over 5 plus 3. So thus we have the value of x and also the value of 30 minus x. So we have alpha x squared divided by 3. And then this is alpha t equal of uh, 30 minus x squared divided by 5 plus 3. So, as you've solved, so we got the value of 11.39388 meters. So, therefore, we have 30. Minus x, so we have uh, eighteen point six zero six one two meters. Okay, so okay na yung mga value ng x natin. So, uh, pagkat ay dito. Copy. So, 
So, you can isolate the lowest one and the one support, say A. Okay, and then meron tayo dito 3 meters na distance. So, we have our edge na tension at the lowest one and we have also tension at the uh, A. And then, we have this uh, load applied. Which is equivalent to 50 Newton. Huh? So, this is 50 Newton per meter. So, kukunin lang natin yung equivalent uh, concentrated load nito. So, that is 50 times X. Huh? Then yung 50 times 11 and 39, 388. So that is 50. Times x, so we have 569. 0.69. 385 Newton and we will post the meter so this is 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 the so, yung edge natin is, makakompute natin yan by summation of uh, moment at point A equal to 0. So, show na lang natin ang positive yung ganitong direction. So, we have edge times 3 minus, we have 50 times the value of x, yung x natin. Okay. And then, multiply by x moment or so, we have x divided by equal to z. So, therefore, we have the value of h. So, that is uh, showing the value of uh, x times 3 and then minus 50 times uh, 11 point three nine three eight eight. Multiplied by uh, 11.39388 uh, divided by 2. So, uh, if uh, equal to 0, then ship sold. So, we have now 1081.84. Point Newton. So, the tension of the electric will be the score of uh, 569.69385 squared plus 1081.84 squared. So, we have now uh, tension at point A. So, <coughs> so we have now Three nine three eight eight. So we have now a square root of five six nine point six nine three eighty five squared plus one zero eighty one point eighty four squared. So we have one two two. One two 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 point seven Newton. And this is now the answer. So for tension at point B. 
Kimiari Ones uh, Considering the lowest point again, so we have H And then we have this keyboard and then it is going to be so we can function that correctly and then we actually hit on this times um y2 that is 8 meters so we will need to load apply Again, this is 50 newton per meter. So, ang makukuha natin yung equivalent uh, concentrated load nito that is uh, 50 times 30 newtons. Okay. So, by summation of moment, I can be equal to 0. So, makukumpit mo yung value na edge. Ah, uh, so, yung H dito is nakuha na natin. So, there's no need na. Huh? Uh, Kapit na natin yung value ng H. Kasi meron na tayong value ng H that is uh, 1081 and 84 newton. So, yung wala na lang tayo sa intention. So, gawa na lang tayo ng uh, polygon ng ito dito. So, meron tayo ng H. Meron tayo ng 50. Minus 30 minus x and db. So thus, the intention of the natin is we have uh, h squared plus 50 minus 30 minus x and minus so minus minus x. So we have now, so in h natin is 5 and uh, 1081 to 84. We have 1081.84 squared. And then we have 50 times the 30 minus x natin is 18.606. Uh, 18.606 one. One. Squared. So we have now tension at point B. So that is just a uh, square root lang. So ito na lang i-dip na lang natin. Ito palitan ko lang ito na 50 times. 50 times uh, 18.60612. So that is... 1426 and 83 newton okay so okay so i think yun lang yun lang sa problem yun lang yung mga tension at tens at support so, so, so next the video is we're going to compute this problem uh, using calculator only. So if you like this video, uh, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and to get notified with our daily uploads, uh, just click the notification bell. So keep safe and see you in the next video. Thank you.